brothers and sisters of the Life Spring Assembly of God, fellowship and family, and friends and others who are watching me. Greetings to you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What a joy to come to you through this video. Though we are not able to see face to face, you are in my heart and in my prayers. The Lord's blessing be upon you this evening as we uh, briefly meditate on the, on, the, on the Word of God. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 12, it says here, For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitude of the heart. I would like to point out two things concerning the word that comes from God, the Bible, the written word of God. First, I like to mention a few things about the qualities of the word of God. Secondly, we shall see the power of the word. I will not be giving too many explanation. I will just mention what are the qualities and also uh, the power of God's word with the references and you may look into these references before you sleep tonight and uh, again you meditate on these references and the Holy Spirit who is our best teacher will guide you into the truth of God's word now if we talk about the qualities of God's word the passage we read if you study that passage the, uh, these are the qualities I will just mention. The, it is divine, it is living, it is powerful, it is cutting, it is piercing, it is discriminating, and it is revealing. And the word of God is indestructible in spite of all the assault that the word of God, the Bible faced for many, many centuries. Many saints of God has given their blood and life to preserve the written word of God as we have today. And thank God, we have the privilege of buying as many copies as possible, as many versions as possible. But always remember, it is freely come to, coming to us, but there are people who paid a big price to preserve and the Holy Spirit helped to preserve his word for us and so when you examine this one verse that we have read these are the qualities that you will notice there and let me now talk about the words power the power of God's word with the references first of all it is the power of God for salvation of the lost. First Peter chapter 1 verse 23. Secondly, it is the power of God for the healing of the sick. Psalm number 107 verse 20. In the deliverance of the demon possessed people, Matthew chapter 8 verse 16 and fourthly the power of God is the word in the sanctification of the believers the gospel according to St. John chapter 17 verse 17 and then finally it is the power of the Holy Spirit in the filling of the believers with the Holy Spirit Acts chapter 10 verses four, verse, 40, verse 44. I hope you have gotten all the references. I will mention one more time in order. First Peter chapter 1 verse 23 talks about how our salvation was wrought about. And uh, Psalm number 107 verse 20 talks about 
how God sends forth his word healing his people. And then Matthew chapter 8 verse 16 talks about Jesus Christ casting out demons and uh, delivering the demon possessed people from its power by the word that he spoke. And then John Gospel chapter 17 verse 17 talks about uh, the Jesus is praying uh, to God the Father to sanctify those whom you have uh, God has given to Jesus Christ and uh, sanctify by your word for your word is truth and uh, and the truth ultimately is Jesus Christ and then Acts chapter 10 verse 44 we read about uh, Peter go visiting the home of the the house of Cornelius the centurion and as he was speaking the word to them the Holy Spirit fell upon the crowd which gathered in that house, how, home. So we see the word of God that is in your hand must get it into your heart. For the power of God's word is beyond uh, measure. It is limitless. And uh, the word of God is so powerful because it is also a living word. And when the living word is sent forth by the living God, it always accomplishes the purpose for which the word is sent. And in the same way, when you pray for any need, Find out scriptures that supports that you uh, supports uh, your prayer uh, to God the Father. You can quote the verse by what authority or what uh, uh, ground you are claiming this promise because of your own word, O Lord. And uh, the word is very powerful. And uh, I just want you to know that um, in times like this, the times of uh, fear and uncertainty and anxiety filling the hearts of men and women, including uh, leaders of nations at present, you have the word of God as an anchor, which contains hundreds of uh, promises from God. And you claim these promises, and if you are maintaining a right relationship with the Lord, and you are walking in the Spirit with God, you have been given the right to claim these promises from your Heavenly Father based on the Scriptures. And so, even for effective prayer, you need to have the Word of God. And you need to know the word of God. And to face tempter and his temptation, you need the word of God. Because the word of God is uh, spoken as the sword of the spirit. And this sword can destroy any evil demonic forces that are working against you. And so the word is so powerful because it is living. And it is because it is the word of a living God. And he sends forth his word and he accomplish, the word accomplishes the purpose for which it is sent. Whether it is for healing or deliverance or to fill you with the Holy Spirit or claim any promises. Claim it for it is given to you. And God bless you during this time especially to be strengthened. And your faith level must increase by the using of God's word. Because faith is always fed by the word of God. As the word says in Romans, faith comes from hearing and hearing from the word of God. This is the assurance. So get strengthened in your faith and in your love for Jesus 
And when you say you love Jesus, you have to love his word as well. So feed on God's word and be comforted, strengthened, grow. In Jesus' name, amen.